How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Software Inc. Welcome back to Hard Mode. And welcome back to Nerdresoft. I get the feeling it may well and truly be time to start investing even more money into this company. Now, obviously, last time we were getting well above $60 million. And so I decided to be a genius and sink a bunch of that money into bonds and also into stock on another company. But I think what I want to do is I want to go and I want to lease this space right here. I want to lease this space right here and I want to lease this space right here. And essentially, I want to go ahead and set up a massive system for printing software, right? I want to make a massive series of printers so that essentially I never need to worry about whether or not I can actually print something so we're gonna go immediately into build mode and into distribution and essentially i'm gonna s just throw a bunch of conveyor belts in here so we're gonna go like this to start with and we're gonna go like this and like this to start with and essentially these printers are now annoyingly those ones are facing sort of the wrong way uh which is frustrating but what i'm gonna do is just sink a whole bunch of money on a ridiculous number of printers and then in doing this i'm gonna get myself to a little spot here where what i'm hoping to do and actually to be completely honest i'm going to just build one of these and then copy and paste it over uh what i'm gonna do essentially is try to take a whole bunch of uh deals where i can i guess just print other people's stuff that's that's really all i'm trying to do here uh, so what we'll do is go and grab all of these guys, grab that one as well, and we'll duplicate. We'll rotate it that way, and we'll do this, I guess, which is pretty expensive. Uh, but that right there is now going to be 36 printers versus the 13 that we have downstairs. So this is already a pretty good setup. This is, uh, this is already kind of, uh, kind of a lot. So what we'll do is go ahead and select everything in this room and duplicate, swing it around this way, and it's going to live. Ooh, this building is not symmetrical. That's news to me. We'll do this, and that's okay. Uh, those are, however, all going. Oh, I'm not going to be able to copy and paste this. Never mind. Well, maybe I can. Whatever. We'll, we'll start with here. We're going to have this massive array of, of printers. And essentially what we want to do is, I think, kind of double this up a little bit. So let me get rid of all of you. I'm going to try and go for a little bit of symmetry on this. Uh, so you are going to come out. What way is this going to come out? This is going to go that way. You are going to go there. And I'm going to grab another row of printers, I think, just so we can really go a little bit wild on this. And that gives us this massive, massive stretch of uh, of printers. And thinking about it, there is a much better way to do this. And basically, that much better way of doing things is to do this right here, which is 171 printers. And then we just connect it all together with a bunch of elevated conveyor ramps, just like this down at the end. And my idea is that I'm going to loop this all together take it downstairs i'm missing a couple of spots right there and there but essentially if i ceiling mount this guy and bring it across to here if i ceiling mount this guy across to here all i really need to do is bring this over like so and maybe not quite like that we'll just uh, rotate you that way we'll bring you over to here bring you to there and essentially it's the same idea on this side as well we just get a couple of these uh, ramps that take us straight down and now all of these printers are ready to feed into these two uh, shoots right here so all I need to do is go and select all this conveyor stuff and get rid of it go and select these uh, these pallets and get rid of those and I'm gonna bring the stuff into essentially a massive warehouse where we can just store everything so i kind of need to figure out how i'm gonna do that with the uh with the pallets here i haven't exactly figured that bit out but that's what i want to do i want to have a bunch of storage where this stuff can just sit and i guess with the 
Well, we don't have much extra space up here, but I'm probably going to move these servers into a better space as well. So let's start with, I guess, this side and figure out what this layout's going to look like. And there we go. I suppose this will sort of work. All I need to do now is go and set the drop off points for all these different conveyor belts, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the backside to do. But essentially, we just want to throw all these drop off points right at the start of each of these pallets. And what should happen now is anything that comes through here will get dropped off. It'll get loaded onto pallets and it'll get picked up if and when it's ready to go whenever there's space for it on the conveyors and all that good stuff. So this gives us a whole bunch of storage to play with. We are going to need to, of course, upgrade the amount of couriers that we have coming in at any one time, but that's totally fine by me. Uh, now, let's see. Can I go ahead and duplicate this? And is it going to work nicely for me? It's not really looking like it wants to, which is fair enough. I guess we're going to have to redo the, uh, the pallet stuff on this side as well, which is just great. I'm going to have to rotate so many of these, but that's... Oh, wait, no. I might not have to rotate too many of them at all. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to upgrade the number of couriers that we have coming in, but I do think doing a bunch of print jobs might be good. Might be a way to make some money. Might be a way to, you know, just keep the printers working and honestly pay for them because this is a tremendous amount of money that we are spending on this little setup right here. And it, at some point, it's going to need to be upgraded because we are going to get better printers. But for now, I think it'll do the job. And that seems pretty good to me. So we have these guys upstairs. They're probably going to overwhelm the conveyors that we have here. But that's kind of okay by me. And uh, to be totally honest, I could go a little bit further with this. I could, uh, I could go in here and duplicate these guys and do this which apparently that's that's not quite what I was looking for. Can I can I duplicate you guys again and put you in there? Absolutely. And I guess we'll just sort of do the same over here as well. We'll grab all of these guys, duplicate them, and they have to be placed in a conveyor belt. Of course they do. And there we go. That is a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of printers. But it should be good. That should allow us to do a lot. In terms of printing, we can now do 5 million copies per month, 5,000 boxes. We can move 162 boxes at the moment. So let's go to manage staff and <laughs> let's have a little bit of fun here. Let's sort by type and we'll go for the, uh, the couriers right here in the middle. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set them all to arrive at 8 in the morning. And I'm going to go ahead and hire another one and another one and another one and another one and another one up until about 486 uh, per month, which is a fraction of what we can do. But honestly, that's okay, because what I now want to do is I want to go and look at these print jobs, because I'm kind of excited about this. These guys want a million units by December. These guys want 6 million. That's a little much. These guys want 443,000 units. Let's go ahead and accept that job, right? Uh, these guys want... 346,000. We'll go ahead and accept that. These guys want 800,000. We'll go ahead and accept that. And these guys, that's the 6 million one. Let's take the million units as well and see what happens. And we should see momentarily a ridiculous number of boxes come out of these printers. I think. We might not see it. Time might skip and we might just have a ridiculous number of boxes in the warehouse in the morning, but... I think that's, oh, no, there's the boxes right there. And there's the boxes in the warehouses. Yeah, so a bit of both, basically. <laughs> a little bit of both going on right there. But uh, that's that's what we're looking for, right? We should now have a bunch of couriers coming in at uh, 8 in the morning who can start picking all this stuff up. And apparently they didn't really manage to move all that much, which is slightly disappointing. How many did we just move? We have apparently moved 468. Okay. That might have been enough. I don't know if that actually was enough. Let's let's go manage couriers again. And uh, let's let's go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. And have you guys all come in at uh, let's say let's say six, let's say four p.m. You leave at eight, and that should be. In fact, you know what? Come in at one p.m. You leave at five. So we'll have a bunch of couriers coming in and. 
now we should be able to ship a whole bunch of stuff out. We're now up to 756 boxes per month, which I think is going to be solid. Uh, I do imagine that we'll be able to achieve the deals that we're looking for. And we do have employees that are not happy about the noise. Is this room particularly noisy? It doesn't seem like it. Not really sure why they'd be complaining unless they can hear the... Uh, Unless they can hear the printers through the wall, which would be kind of surprising, I've got to be honest with you. Oh no, I've just had an idea. I'm going to go ahead and lease two more spaces right here, because what I'm thinking I could potentially do is split everything coming out of the printers right here, and potentially... In doing so, ship it up to four more of these shipping bays right here. So I think the way we'll do this is we'll pause. Well, we don't need to pause. We'll go to build mode and oh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Uh, we'll take all of these guys out for a second and we'll go ahead and I guess we could lower this down about here. We'll put it into a conveyor splitter. And let's see, go for a regular ceiling mounted conveyor belt to this spot. We'll have this come out into a regular conveyor belt into another ramp right here. Continue ceiling mounted to here, here, and here. And now that continues down, but these are inaccessible. Ah, okay, that slightly messes with my plan. Uh, what if I was to grab these four things and shuffle them by one? And then all I would need to do is move you to here, grab a ceiling mounted conveyor belt and do this, and have this guy come down and across like this. Now everything's accessible, everything splits and does what I want to do. All I need to do is bring this guy back up and straight over like this, straight over like so, and down into here. And that now sends them up to this spot where in theory, I could split this one thing into all four, but we kind of need to mirror this, but uh, essentially what I'm thinking we do here is we'll bring a conveyor belt out like so. And I guess what we'll do is bring it to about here. And this is, oh, this is actually going to be kind of annoying because we don't have, uh, we don't have this. I wonder if we should maybe try and do hold on a minute let me get rid of all of this and let me see if i can be so cheeky as to grab all of you guys all of you conveyor belts as well and possibly all of these guys as well can i duplicate that and have the same layout work it looks like i can i just sort of need to change the direction of things because right now it's trying to come down from here so what i need to do is i guess have this uh shoot linking up to this set of conveyor belts over here and i guess to do that i'm just gonna elevate everything right actually that's exactly what i'm gonna do and it worked so let's just make sure that i did i did get everything uh, so we'll head in here, we're going to grab all of the conveyor belts, we're going to grab all of the pallets, and we're going to grab all of those things as well, duplicate all of it, move it up, and essentially I need it to connect right about there. So that gives us exactly the same setup, I just need to, again, sort of rotate everything around a little bit, so take these conveyor belts out, and then all I need to do, I suppose, is... Elevate right about here. Ceiling mount the entire way around the uh, the room, just like so. And this one, I'm going to just lower right about here. We'll turn it right about here. And now that should be a tremendous amount of storage. Or at least it would be if I had set up this little system on this side over here, which I can do that. That's 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 easy enough. And there we go. We have a needlessly complicated system for moving all of these boxes, but in theory, it should now work. We should have them coming back and backing up there. We should have them splitting and going upstairs. And essentially, we should now see couriers going to this top floor as well as the bottom floor to pick everything up. And uh, this side over here actually isn't 
working because of reasons? Interesting. Why is this not behaving the way it should be? Can I just fix you? There we go. So now that's all connected, we should now have everything backing up and now we can move a massive amount of boxes, which is what we're looking for. Uh, now, I will say I'm not actually 100% sure if I am going to manage these deals because we just have a lot of things sitting in storage when it really needs to not just be sitting in storage. So I think we need to go in and look at uh, managing my staff and I need to look at my couriers and spread them out a bit more. And let's be honest, I've been told this before. Uh, so go with 8 a.m. We'll go with, uh, let's see, let's do 10 a.m. Let's do uh, 12 p.m. Let's do 2 p.m. Let's do, I guess, 4 p.m. And let's go ahead and do, I guess, 6 p.m. And we'll sort of spread the couriers throughout the day like that and see what they can do, if anything. I might just need a ridiculous number of couriers, but honestly, I'm willing to pay that because, let's be honest, this could potentially make me money and we are above a million fans. My business reputation is almost four full stars as well. So we're doing, we're doing all right. I just really don't want to fail any of these deals that I have going on. <laughs> It'd be kind of awkward if we did. I'm going to be honest with you. Would be a little bit of a problem if we happen to fail these deals. And uh, looking at it right now, we're actually going to fail this one, <laughs> which is uh, pretty bad. It's kind of a, kind of a problem. Uh, this one... A lot of units in storage. It's a lot, it's a lot of units in storage. I'm going to have to call some couriers. I'm going just, gonna to just call quite a few of them in and see what they can do for me. See if they can't start moving things out for me a little bit. Doesn't necessarily look like they... Uh, oh, it really doesn't look like they're going to be able to move enough at all. That is... Uh, problematic. <laughs> That's a little bit problematic. So I did call a bunch more couriers and I just failed to print the last 21,000, 38,000 copies of, uh, of the things that I was trying to print there, which is frustrating. We were so close. We were so, so close to, uh, actually doing and, and completing those deals. It's a little unfortunate that we weren't, uh, weren't close enough, but that's fine. Let's not stress too much about it. We will manage we'll be okay we'll get some more print jobs in hopefully the not too distant future and uh, we can just move more things out the good news is we do have a ridiculous printing capacity it's just a matter of what my couriers can actually manage to do at any one time so we'll see how things go there but i think for the time being let's lean into an idea that i talked about in the last episode because there are certain things throughout the company that are suffering here and there. For example, network on Roaster Coaster 3D Online is suffering. So let me go and copy everything in this room and let me put it into this room right here. Let me also go and grab the style of that room and just make sure that they match because I do really like this orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to manage teams and I'm going to try something that, you know, I've talked about. We're going to go for the network team number one. We're going to add it and we're going to make the network team a nice sort of pink color because I can. And they are going to be assigned this room right about here. Uh, and so by doing this, I can then put the network team on something like Roaster Coaster 3D Online and they'll be able to deal with it. So we'll go to the network team, we'll go to HR management, we'll make it a solid $3 million, handle the wages, handle the complaints, and uh, ugh, I guess best roles, I, I, I don't know in role selection, I'll be totally honest, I do like the idea of opening people up to being allowed to do whatever they want to do, because the idea is that eventually we could end up with a team of 22 people who are amazing at just network design and programming. I just, I don't, <laughs> I don't know about it. Uh, let's do this though. We're going to have one leader. So 11 programmers, uh, 10 designers, 21 in total, plus one leader is 22 for the 22 desks. Education, I guess this, and we'll do 10 at a time. And you know what? We're not going to, well, you know what? We're not going to change their roles. I'm going to see what happens here. Uh, specializations, 
it's just going to be networking, really. So we'll go for networking. Traits will be the usual uh, mix of four. Salaries are going to be high. And that's the network team. It just needs a leader. Oh, wow. Morph 2 is up to $6.6 .6 million in sales. Let's go ahead and increase that marketing budget to $75,000 so that we can hopefully get it to unavoidable in terms of marketing. And, oh, this is interesting. We have some hosting. We have some marketing. I'm tempted by those marketing deals. I'm also really tempted by hosting, because like I mentioned, we could go and swap out these servers into an office space, essentially, like a nice big chunky server room. Uh, we do still have the tower servers. It's not until 2000 we get the server racks. I don't know. I'm 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 slightly tempted to buy a, a space for some servers, but we'll leave it for now. Uh, we should and do have people coming in for the network team, which thus far is six people in total. It'll expand eventually, uh, but for now we'll go ahead and assign the network team to Roaster Coaster 3D Online. And also thinking about it, is this my it's my marketing team? Is this my support team? This is my support team. Why is there only eight people on the support team? What's going on here? There's supposed to be 19. And for some reason, let's go for high salaries, I guess, and a budget of $3 million and see what happens there. Can we get more people onto the support team? Is that going to be, is that, is that a thing we can do? We're still limited to eight for some reason. It's very weird. That is very, very weird. Specializations are supports kind of all I'm looking for. Serve it, you know, 19 of them would be would be great. I'll be honest, it'd be kind of great. Oh, it's because they don't have a leader. That's that explains a lot. Who did I hire to be your leader? That's that's my question. Are any of you qualified to lead a team? I mean, you're no essentially is the the, the answer there. Um okay. Yeah, that checks out. <laughs> that's that makes a lot of sense. Let's go ahead and hire a leader, I guess. We're looking for a leader that can do service and uh, we'll filter them by compatibility with the support team. So begin looking. We've got you. You can do HR and automation. So uh, yeah, Kathleen Soto, you are hired. You can now go in and be the support team leader. So congratulations. And now the support team will end up with, you know, enough people to actually function because up to this point, it sort of didn't have enough people to fully function. So that'll be nice to fix that particular issue. Also give you a pay rise. And Morph 2 just went down to a million dollars in sales. Oh. Oh, I know why Morph 2 went down to a million dollars in sales. I know why it just did that. It's because Power Styles just went out with unavoidable marketing. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go for exclusivity on Power Styles immediately. They don't want a lot of money for this. So I'm going to go for the longest exclusivity I can get, which is going to be pretty much 10 years for $5 million on Power Styles. I'm almost tempted to... I could buy the IP for $1.9 Oh, I could buy the IP for 1.9 million. Oh, that's cheeky. That is cheeky. I could, I could do that. Uh, digital distribution at the moment. I'm at 5% uh, of the market, which is kind of frustrating. I was hoping to stay a little bit higher than that. But at the very least, what I've now done is I've just like the competitions come out. It has hurt my sales, but the competition is now selling exclusively on my platform for 10 years. Although, admittedly, I probably should have had a look and seen when they're bringing out the sequel. Oh, there's another one coming out. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, we might have opened the floodgates a little bit on this one. Let's uh, let's see here. 2D editor, no 3D editors planned. 2D editors. Do we have anything else? Oh, hello. What is this? Nothing right there either. Okay. So there is another 3D editor coming out this month it's due out at the in the first half of this month so we might want to offer exclusivity on that one as well so interestingly i've gone up to 7.7 percent of the market share right here 
I think what I'm going to do is bring my cut up to 25% just because I've just signed the, uh, I've just signed something for 10 years. They're, they're stuck, right? I mean, it's not actually making money by the looks of it, uh, but that's, that's fine. <laughs> it's probably all right. There is another one coming out. It was due out at the first half of January. It still hasn't come out. So we'll see what happens here with regards to that other uh, thing. The other, what do you call it? 3D editor. We also have these guys offering 48 million for Morph. I'm not interested. These guys want 792,000 copies by December of this year. I'll take that. We can probably manage that. These guys want 500,000. We can probably do that as well. So... We'll go ahead and take both those print jobs. We should see a massive number of boxes coming out of the factory now, which we absolutely are. And I do have couriers waiting around to grab things already, so we should already see some of those boxes moving out, which is what we're looking for. So, I guess... I, I mean, how, hold on. These guys have got more shares going out. I'm tempted. I've got to be honest. I am, I am tempted, but we'll leave it be for now uh let's look at all software interestingly it seems like that other 3d editor hasn't come out which is weird like it was supposed to be out in january it just hasn't released so unless i'm not sorting by releases probably no it just it just didn't come out so <laughs> i've got i've got no idea what's going on with that uh looking at digital distribution i'm up to 8.2 percent of the market taken 25%. I'm quite happy with that. And if I look at my income, how are we doing here? Distribution is, I mean, it's costing me a lot. Sales are still 6 million a month, which I'm totally fine with. Uh, yeah, deals, you know, casual minus 5 million, but that's, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm honestly, I'm honestly not too worried about it. And, uh, looking in here at Roaster Coaster 3D Online, is this team, network team is still 13 people. Why is the network team still 13 people? That's, that's, is it just taking a while to find people that can do networking? I mean, I, I guess, I guess it's taking a while to find people that can do networking. Regardless, they are working on Rose to Coaster 3D online. They're doing a decent little job there, so we'll not stress too much about it. We might be waiting for more network designers, I guess, but we'll get there. Looking at Vapor 3, I'm actually going to put the network team on that as well and see if we can't maybe do some stuff to get that chugging along a little bit because we do need it to kind of be fantastic. So hopefully it will be. And then looking at Bucket 4, it's actually pretty much ready to go into beta. So let's take a look at the event calendar and see what's coming up. We have... No 2D editors, no 2D editors. We have a 2D editor in December. I wonder, would it be a little much for me to try and release Bucket 4 in September? Or would I be better holding off and releasing it in, say, March or June with a little bit more marketing behind it? I kind of feel like it would be better to hold off. But it's also a, essentially going to be a year of beta. I, I th yeah, I think we're going to have to do that. I think we'll, we'll market this. We'll go for a release date. It is going to be 1999. It is going to be March. We'll queue that up and we'll go ahead and start marketing on this. And I don't know if my marketers can actually do... They still can't... I still don't have a level 3 marketer. Oh, man. I need to get myself a level 3 marketer. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at here. I need, need, need to get myself a level 3 marketer. Why don't we have any? My marketing team, let's have a look here at HR management. Medium, that's why. Uh, I might have to fire a few of them. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to fire my marketers and get good ones. That's that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, they have just successfully marketed Morph, so actually, <laughs> let's, uh, huh, hold on a minute. Let's, uh, who, who has not been with us for that long? You've all been here for, who's been the most sick out of all of you? You lot right there. And none of you are leaders, which is fine. So that works for me in terms of service. I need you guys to kind of be a little better at your jobs. So unfortunately, you're all fired. And now looking at marketing, hopefully it's going to fill up with a few better people. 13, 
Uh, hopefully it fills up a few people. Come on, marketing. <laughs> Come on, marketing. Hire some people, please. Please, please, please don't. Okay, we're up to 16. Do we have any level 3 marketers amongst you? We don't. That's frustrating. <laughs> I was really, really hoping we would get some level 3 marketers in there, but apparently we're not. That's fine. It's, that's just how it's going to be. Oh, no, there it is. GFX Escape has finally come out. It is making money, which is certainly something, as is Power Styles. Can I get you to be exclusive? I can. 7.6 million for exclusivity on this guy for essentially, essentially 10 years. I'm going to take it. I am spending ridiculous amounts of money, but I'm kind of here for it. I did buy another 6 million worth of shares in Wind Digital, but... I'm, I'm hoping that me spending money left and right is going to turn around into good things because we we now have a situation where the only place that you can get a 3D editor is my platform, my digital distribution platform. So I might be, I think I'm being a businessman, to be quite frank. I, I think that's kind of where we're, where we're going with this. And I think that's where we're sort of angling ourselves as uh, as a company right now as we're being a little bit... A little bit business oriented, even if Morph 2 itself is not actually making all that much money anymore, but that's that's fine. Uh, looking at digital distribution, we're up to 14.5% of the market share, which is kind of fantastic. Let's be honest, that's, that's pretty good. We're still working on Vapor 3, which honestly, I mean, it, it could, it could be... It could be going a little bit faster, but I'm not really in any major rush right there. What I'm mostly looking for is, I mean, look at this. My deals are actually making money, which is fantastic news. And I think that's partly because we are taking print jobs as well. 1.3 million copies of this guy by November. We can probably do that. That should be relatively easy to, uh, to get done. We should have a bunch. Yeah, there we go. Bunch of copies heading out to the warehouse, getting loaded onto the pallets and everything should be good. We should see them all get loaded up in no time at all, and we should have couriers coming by to do their thing. Now, bucket four is ready to go into beta, so we'll get that moving along, which is lovely to see. Roaster Coaster 3D Online, I really want this guy to get done with its, uh, with its, current, its current phase. It's kind of frustrating that it's taking this, uh, this long. Let's go ahead and take the audio team off of it, uh, which means Marlon Morrison has taken over lead design duties. Can I make sure that we have a good lead on this? Actually, Marlon Morrison is pretty good. He's a pretty good shout for this. So that that actually works for me. He's he's going to be our, uh, our our lead on that. Uh, Vapor three. I mean, it doesn't really matter who leads that up. I don't think we'll we'll go ahead and just kind of let it continue doing its thing. Uh, the Bucket 4 press release is good to go, and I guess we'll throw out a press build of Bucket 4 as well. And I suppose at this point, it's kind of just a case of waiting until March of 1999 to see what happens. And it might also be an idea to... I'm not really interested in any of this. It might be an idea to look at Morph 2 and see if it needs ported to anything. And it does. Lion Slim 2. Lion Slim is the operating system that made uh, Morph 2, or Morph, the original, a success. Can I offer an exclusivity deal for an operating system? Interesting. Okay. We'll go ahead and start working on the port job right there. And I guess we should look at updating it as well. It has been a minute since we updated this, and it does have some system upgrades available. So we'll go ahead and look at that update as well. We could... I mean, is, is Roaster Coaster still making money? It did 192000 last month, so it is. So let's throw an update out there for... I get... Well, you know what? We're not going to update... We're not going to update Bucket 3. Because Bucket 4 is around the corner. Which means Roaster Coaster 2 might not be getting any updates either. Because by that stage, we're hopefully going to be looking at updating Roaster Coaster 3D online. So, long story short, we're going to be entering an interesting phase with this company where 
perhaps we don't have as much money to do things as we'd like, but... I'm kind of hoping that this is all going to turn around into a big old, you know, huge profit. Because I think going into the 2000s, my goal is going to be, to, at that stage, to actually go ahead and build our own huge studio. And uh, also, interestingly, is the fact that I think we just went down. I, I, we are, oh, we are not making much money anymore. Our sales have taken a pretty big hit. We need to get this morph update done. And we need to get this port done as well. So finish that update and then prioritize the port. You know, I've got to be honest. I cannot begin to tell you how tempting it is to sign an exclusivity deal for $15 million. It is $15 million. But an exclusivity deal for Lion Slim 2 for even three years i mean it's it's really the the change in money is not all that substantial uh it's 13 million for a year it's 15 million for 10 right the, the difference isn't all that great it's so tempting to sign that deal but i probably should have signed it when that operating system came out because if i did i would have been getting a 25 percent cut of however many millions of dollars these guys are are pulling in for that operating system it's still very tempting to do that but we are sitting currently at 26 million dollars and we are not making all that much money we're not we need to be making more money before i can sign deals like that i mean you know i'm getting i'm getting offers right we're getting things like these guys want me to print stuff for them i can do that distribution 12.6 percent is okay but we we do need more money coming in, I think, before we can go too crazy here. So we're going to be careful. We are still making money. We're still doing about a million dollars in in sales, and that's fine. But it's not enough for me to warrant or, or feel comfortable, uh, you know, essentially forking over $15 million. Although we did just port Morph to that system. We did. We did just port Morph to that system. but And now they want $13 million. Interesting. Uh, they also didn't actually go up in that that much in profit uh, looking at it. So I think Lion Slim 2 has probably made the majority of its sales already. Although bring, bringing Morph 2 over to it might have uh, might have helped it out a little bit. The, the point being, I don't think $13 million for 10 years is necessarily going to be worth it. I am curious though to see. Oh yeah, porting Morph did nothing did absolutely nothing in terms of sales so what about the operating system itself i mean it yeah it went up by like three million it's it's done the majority of its selling is what that tells me so now i guess we are just going to be looking forward to bucket four going out in march so let's go ahead and throw another press build out to the people let's go ahead and market this with everything that we can market it with and i guess let's let's hope that it's good i mean if I really wanted to, I could, I could bring it forward to November, but there is such a solid chance that uh, Final Premium 6 will outdo it, at least in terms of marketing, so I don't know about that. Uh, looking here, we have a couple of deals sitting about. These two right here are deals, but I think, I think we're shipping enough of them that will be okay. I would imagine. I mean, this, these both have to be done by November. So, yeah, we'll we'll move enough of these guys out that uh, those deals will be perfectly fine. So, that's all right. We'll get those going. In terms of other deals, these guys want a quarter of a million by May. We can probably do that. And these guys want uh, close to a million by May. We can probably do that as well, I think. We'll see how that goes i'm i'm hoping for uh i'm hoping for good things on all of those deals i'm hoping it will continue to you know improve my my business reputation that's that's kind of where i'm at at this point so while i'm sitting here waiting for march of 1999 to roll around i've decided that i am in fact going to go ahead and take some hosting deals so we're gonna just get ourselves a very very dark room right here and with this room i'm just gonna fill it with servers that's that's essentially the entire thing is just gonna be a giant giant server room and uh what we'll do 
is just go ahead and do something like this. Uh, we'll go ahead and just copy all of these servers right here and, you know, flip them around like so, flip them around like so. It's going to be a little uh, messier than I would necessarily like it to be, but that's all right. We can do this. We can uh, move this one down to here and we'll duplicate you as well. And then what I want to do is go and copy those four or those eight rather, and we'll put them here, here, and we'll go ahead and copy those or right there and put them right about there and that now connects together so that we can go into live mode here look for servers and that is now a relatively powerful server which is going to be called the host so we'll go for this that works out hopefully it doesn't fail because if it does that would be terrible but what i can now do is go and look at hosting lion slim 2 which we'll put onto server zero. We'll accept that deal. And I need to go back into my servers and make sure it's actually called uh, the host. So now we can look at this and we can see, I mean, Lion Slim 2 is not doing too bad in terms of uh, processes. In terms of this other hosting thing, we'll go ahead and throw it onto the host as well. And that's just a little bit of passive income from server hosting, which I'm kind of here for. Uh, so if we look at this, deals, $287,000 in November is not bad at all. And looking at the servers, the host is is doing perfectly fine. It's, it's doing all right for itself right there. And so the time has come. It is March of 1999. Bucket four is 247 bugs better off, or it is 247 bugs down and is better off because of it. Let's go ahead and release bucket four and see what everyone thinks of it it is five stars but pretty buggy three stars and four stars i'm willing to take that i'm gonna throw i'm gonna throw seventy five thousand dollars at it for the marketing team and we're gonna hope for good things here i'm also gonna pause very quickly so i can just see what my marketing team are doing uh because i need to rearrange things bucket needs to be there and then i want to put bucket four marketing and morph two marketing right there those are going to be prioritized. Morph 2 can come down a little bit, maybe down to about 5. And then what we'll do with Bucket 4 is update it immediately with all the latest stuff. It's going to be less than a year to do this. I'm hoping we can do this in a good amount of time. We'll bring that Morph update down, bring this Bucket update up a little bit, bring that down as well. And let's just see if I throw my teams into Crunch... Can I get them to get this update out there? I don't know that I can. We uh, might want to get networking on that as well. Just everybody can be thrown at this to try and get the update done. It's not looking like it's going to be done today, which is unfortunate, but that's that's fine. If we can get it to like 40%, I will be happy with that, which we can't. So turn everybody off of crunch. And we'll just see what happens. We'll see. We'll see how bucket four does. I mean, looking at it, it is 1.2 million to make it. It is going to need ported to a few new systems as well. So these two, for example, we'll get that going. But hopefully, hopefully we're looking at money on this thing. Is it good? It's great. Morph 2 was outstanding. I didn't even realize Morph 2 was that good. It's also about to pass Morph in terms of profits. Well, potentially if it picks up a little bit. Uh, bucket 4, though is great it's our second best product in terms of quality so let's take a look and see how it does minus forty three thousand dollars right there please turn into something good please turn into something good seven hundred and two thousand uh, dollars sparse marketing i i'm gonna chalk it up to sparse marketing and assume that that's where bucket four has unfortunately fallen off a little bit uh I don't know that I love that. I don't know that I love that it didn't sell. I also don't know that I love the fact that it doesn't seem like the marketing team is actually able to keep up with the budgets that I'm giving them there. So that might be something we need to look into as well. As for sorting out Bucket itself, it does have some bugs to sort out. I'd kind of like to prioritize the... Let's see, put you on the source. I would like to prioritize the update itself, but we'll see how things go. In terms of bucket, is the money going to go up? Is it going to go down? $700,000 to beat. 
we're going to be looking at $789,000. I mean, it's, it's money. <laughs> it's, it's, it's money, right? It's, uh, not as much as I was hoping for though. That's really not as much as I was hoping for. I'm guessing, I, I, I can only guess that the competition put out a better 2D editor, right? If we sort by release dates, bucket four is right here. This one, it was good. It did 3 million. It sold, you know, three times the, the units thus far. Interesting. I guess maybe it was, maybe it being cheaper was, uh, was kind of a big deal. I don't know. I really don't know. I, uh, I'm slightly, slightly disappointed at that. I was really hoping that, uh, was really hoping bucket four would take off a little bit, but maybe an update, maybe an update will do it. Let's, uh, let's get back on this, uh, this morph update and see if we can finish it and then switch over to the bucket one. And, uh, the morph update will go ahead and push that out because it was just the update I'm interested in. The bug fixes can wait and maybe that'll improve morph sales a little bit. Maybe Morph 2 is now going to sell a million dollars worth of, of units rather than 500,000. Maybe it won't. I, I have no idea. I'm hoping that we... Yeah, million dollars. And Bucket just went to 1.6. So good. I think marketing might have just kicked in a little bit for Bucket 4. All right. We're back in the game. We're back to making money. We might actually be able to achieve some things here. Roaster Coaster 3D Online. It really needs more 2D... 3D and network broke. It just needs more of everything. I don't know if throwing more teams at it is the way to go, but it needs needs more of everything. Uh, Soundscape, similar story. It's not doing very well either in terms of development. It is taking forever, but I'm okay. I'm 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 back to being a little bit comfortable because Bucket just did 1.6 million in sales, and I'm hoping that's going to continue. I'm going to be really annoyed if this drops down to like a hundred thousand dollars. Like really annoyed. 800 that okay okay <laughs> i might have might have spoken a little bit too soon on this one we might we might not be out of the woods yet